Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing lines. We're going to sketch the graph of each line. So, <clears throat> if I was given this equation, y equals 2x plus 5, okay? So, we have 2x plus 5. Well, 5 is our y-intercept, our b-value. So, I look at the y-intercept, and I have a 5 right there, okay? Now, here's the tricky part, all right? My graph is kind of limited. Now, if it went on, you know, if I had really large, I'll just go up 2 over 1, right? Because we know our slope is 2 over 1. And we also know, right, so let's just do that. Up 2 units, 1, 2, a little past it, over 1, we got a point right there, and that's what 7 comma, or 1 comma 7, excuse me, I always do that, 1 comma 7. But that line, y equals 2 uh, x plus 5, is the same thing as y equals negative 2 over negative 1 x plus 5, right? Because negative 2 divided by negative 1 is a positive 2, right? So that means we can go down two units, one, two, over one unit. And we can go down two units to the left one unit, right? All of a sudden, we have multiple lines that are within our region we need to, you know, we're given, okay? So I connect these, these points. We got a line right there, boom, boom, okay? More or less, got it, that's a little, that's good enough for me. And there we have, it. make a little big arrow right there. <laughs> So we have our equation with our graph, um, y equals 2x plus 5, right there. So again, quick recap, plus 5 is our y-intercept, we put a dot right there. We also went up 2 units, over 1 unit to get the point 1, 5, and we went down 2 units, right, because we know 2 over 1 is the same thing as negative 2 over negative 1. Down 2 units to the left 1, and that point is negative 1, 3, okay? Negative 1, 3. Then, we anyway, kept going down, but same idea, we connected all the dots to make our line, and so this graph again is our final answer. 